If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is De Morgan's law. We will see what is De Morgan's law, what is its mathematical representation and how you can prove the De Morgan's law. So we will start with the definition of De Morgan's law that is a complement of union of two sets is the same as intersection of their complements and the complement of intersection of two sets is the same as union of their complements. Now, no need to worry about its definition that is too long and it's difficult for you to memorize it. You just need to understand its mathematical representation. You can automatically understand its definition or you can easily make its def definition by yourself. So we'll start with the mathematical representation of the De Morgan's law. In set theory, it can be written as for any two set A and B, and the sets should be finite. The De Morgan's law in mathematical uh, form can be written as A union B whole complement is equals to A complement intersection B complement and A intersection B whole complement is equals to A complement union B complement. Now this is the mathematical representation of the De Morgan's law. Now you can see, you can easily see that, that that by using this mathematical representation you can easily derive its definition. Let's see how. Now first of all we will see its first form and then the second one. Okay. So according to the first form this is the complement. Complement of union of two sets. We have two sets and we have taken the union and also the complement. It means complement of union of two sets is the same as intersection of the of their complement. It means if we take their complements individually and take the intersection, it will be equal to the union of the two sets if we take their complements together. Same is the case with the second form as if we take the complement of A and B together and take their, ever take their intersection, it will be the same as if we take their complements separately by the end taking their union. So this is the basically the mathematical representation of De Morgan's law. De Morgan's law basically help to relate the union and intersection of sets through complement. So this is basically the relation between union and intersection through complement. This law helps in this form by complement. So let's drive its proof how it is proved that that A union B complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement and A intersection B whole complement is equal to A complement union B complement. So we are having a proof the mathematical representation of the De Morgan's law that is A union B whole complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. This is one form of the De Morgan's law. Another one is A intersection B whole complement is equals to A complement union B complement. Now we have the two forms. We will find its proof first by uh, one by one. First we will find the proof of the form 1, this one and then we will find the proof of the form 2, this one. So let's start the proof. First we will take this form A union B whole, whole intersection, whole complement and A complement intersection B complement. I will write here the proof of A union B whole complement is equals to A complement intersection B complement. From here first we will from here this is the left hand side and this is right hand side. So we will take first one of the one, one side that is left hand side and prove it and then we will find the right hand side. So we will take the left hand side as let R is equals to A union B whole complement. You can take any uh, any of the alphabet for uh, equating this uh, the left hand side. You can take A B. Uh, you can take uh, um, P Q R S T other than A and B in order to differentiate. And Q is equals to the right hand side that is A complement intersection B complement. This is for our convenience. So first of all, we will solve for R. For that purpose, let uh, X be 
an arbitrary element of R. Of R, R is basically a set that consists of a union b whole complement. So x be an arbitrary element of the set R. So I can write as such that x belongs to. If x is an element of R, then we can say that x does not belongs to a union b. Why? Because we have a complement here. As x is an element of a union b complement, it's not an element of a union b. This is by definition of complement of a set. According to that, the uh, as according to that, a union b whole complement is not equals to a union b. So we can say that if x belongs to a union uh, a union b whole complement, then we cannot say that x belongs to a union b. So by keeping this in mind, we can also say that x does not belongs to A and x does not belongs to B because we are saying that x belongs to actually the complement of A union B. Okay, so as we have already said above that x is an arbitrary element of R that is actually the A union B complement. So we can say that x belongs to A complement and x belongs to b complement so that means x belongs to a complement intersection b complement why if uh, an element belongs to a complement and an element also belongs to b column co b complement and if we take their intersection it me it means that the set we get will surely have that element so we can say that x belongs to a complement intersection B complement. This is by definition of intersection of set. So according to that, if if an element is in uh, uh, in uh, in set A and the element is also in set B, and if we take their intersection, then that means that the element will also be in that set. That is the set having having the intersection of uh, uh, of A and B. That's why we have written that if X belongs to A complement and X belongs to B complement. Then it is sure that X will also belong to the intersection of A complement and B complement. So that means X belongs to what? X belongs to Q. Now what is Q? Q is this. That is the right hand side of our given uh, of the uh, of the form that is that we are proving. So that means that means we have proved that X belongs to the Q. So from here it is clear that if x belongs to the q and x belongs to r as well that means r is the subset of q now you one thing will come into your mind that why i have not written that q is the subset of r i will prove it in uh, uh, shortly also that q is also the subset of r then it will mean that the proof of the given and then we will be uh, uh, done with the proof so currently, you must have the concept that R is the subset of Q. So let's prove that Q is also the subset of R. So this is the equation number one. Let we have taken the variable x there. We for the simplicity we can say let y be an arbitrary element of Q. Now what is Q? As we have already equated the Q to a complement intersection B complement. That is. Q is equals to A complement intersection B complement. So that means Y belongs to Q such that Y belongs to A complement intersection B complement. So from here we can say that Y does not belongs to A because Y is actually belonging to A complement intersection B complement. Y does not belongs to B. But we can say that y belongs to A complement as we have written that y belongs to A complement intersection B. Y belongs to B complement. So that means y does not belongs to A union B. Now why? This is because that y does not belongs to A and y does not belongs to B. That means y does not belongs to A union B because if we take the union of A and B, y will not be there that's why we have written that y does not belongs to a union b but we can say that y belongs to 
A union B whole complement. Why? Because we have said that Y belongs to A complement and Y belongs to B complement. It means it is referred from here and it is referred from here. So if as if an element belongs to the complement, then it means if we take their union, it will also belong to that set. And if it if the element does not belong to the given set, if uh, then if we take their union, still the element will not be there. So this is the fact here. So if y belongs to A union B complement, so we can say that y belongs to R. What was R? R was R is equals to A union B whole complement that we have written in the very start. So y belongs to R. Now if y belongs to R, so we can say that Q is the subset of R. As we have already proved that R is the subset of Q. So this is the equation number 2. So from 1 and 2 what we have deduced. If R is the subset of Q and Q is the subset of R then we can say that R is equals to Q. That means if one set is the subset of the other and the other set is also the subset of the first one, then it means both the sets are equal. So we can equate them as A union B replacing the R by A union B whole complement and Q by A complement intersection B complement. So we have proved the one form of the De Morgan's law. This is the one form of the De Morgan's law. So now we will move towards the other form of the De Morgan's law that is form 2 is I will write here the proof of A intersection B whole complement is equals to A complement union B complements. Now let's see how you can find its proof. Again we have to make the assumptions that A intersection B whole complement is equals to P and A complement union B complement is equals to Q. Now first we will find, first we will take the um, left hand side and we will prove. So I will write here like this. On one side I will prove the left hand side and on the other I will prove the right hand side. So I will start with the let X belongs to P. That means X is an arbitrary element. We can say that X belongs to A intersection B whole complement. So that means X does not belong to A or X does not belong to B because X actually belongs to the complement of A and B. So we can say that X does not belong to A intersection B. Similarly, we can say that X belongs to actually the A complement. As we have written that X is an element uh, is an element of A intersection B complement. Or we can say that X belongs to B complement. So that means X actually belongs to A complement union B complement. Why? Because if we take the union of A complement and B complement, we will see that, that, that the element X will also be in that set. So we can say that X belongs to actually A complement union B complement. So that means X belongs to Q. What is Q? Q is A complement union B complement as we have already assumed in the start. So it means if X belongs to Q, so we can say that P is the subset of Q. So this is the equation number 1. Now on the right, let's put the right hand side as well. Let Y belongs to Q. That is A complement union B complement. That means Y belongs to Y belongs to A complement union B complement. So we can say that Y does not belongs to A or Y does not belongs to B such that Y does not belongs to 
A union B. As Y does not belong to A or B, so we can say that Y does not belong to A union B as well. So Y is actually belongs to A complement or Y actually belongs to B complement. As we have already written above, that Y actually belongs to the complement of A union B complement. That means Y belongs to the A intersection B whole complement. Why? Because if we take the complement of A and B, then we will see that the Y element will be found in that set. That's why we have written Y belongs to A intersection B whole complement. And for your convenience, this is actually the left hand side of the um, uh, of this form of the De Morgan's law. So we can say that Y belongs to P. That means Q is the subset of P. So this is the equation number 2. So we have got the two equations. So we, what we have deduced from, from there is, let's write it down. From, from 1 and 2, we have if P is the subset of Q and Q is the subset of P, so we can say that P is equals to Q. That means, what is P? That is A intersection B whole complement is equals to A complement union B complement. So this is the proof of the other form of De Morgan's law. So we have proved that uh, uh, we have proved the both the forms of the De Morgan's law where the intersection and the union are related to each other by means of the complement. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.